My name's Body Art, I legally changed it. I'm 33 years old. I'm from Birmingham, England in the United Kingdom and I'm one of the most modified, inked people on the planet. Tattooing has been hot, but now human branding is the next craze in body art. Hi everyone, I'm Sandra Matos and you are watching I.O. Wrestler Matthew Whelan has turned modification model. He's Britain's most tattooed man and now the first man to brand himself for body art. He branded his face to make 3D dimensional art and he had the procedure done to enhance his tribal tattoos on his face. Matthew has legally changed his name to His Royal Majesty Body Art, King of Ink. Human branding, also known as scarification, is a procedure using a surgical tool that burns through your skin. The surgical instrument that's used for branding is similar to a pen and it just burns through the skin so it doesn't go in and out like a needle when you're tattooing. It's the same drill dentists use to drill holes in your teeth. Ooh, ouch. Matthew was only nine years old when he wanted his first tattoo, but got his first at the age of 16. Since then, he spent over 300 hours in the tattooing chair and over 20,000 pounds. 80% of his body is covered in tattoos. Even his eyeball was tattooed black. How do you tattoo an eyeball? Could he not blink? How does that even work? Now he realizes that this is extreme, but it's his way of expressing himself and he loves it. He thinks of himself as a living, breathing piece of art. Now this isn't only extremely painful as it burns through your flesh and causes smoke to rise, but it's also very risky. It could cause your body to go into shock. Now if that didn't sound dangerous, get this. He nearly died four years ago when one guy showed up at his doorstep and stabbed him simply because he didn't like his tattoos. He gets a ton of looks. People come right up to him and admire his tattoos, including children who are actually fascinated by his tattoos and face branding. And if someone's rude to him, he says he's got a Where's Wally tattoo and makes you look for it. But he doesn't really have one. Jokes on them, they'll spend hours looking for it. Now body art, as he calls himself, thinks of his tattoo work as one single piece of art instead of several tattoos all over his body. This 33 year old from Birmingham hasn't stopped yet. He's actually had a few of his tattoos removed and re-tattooed over. What kind of tattoos do you guys have? And what's the most extreme body modification you've done? 